August 11, Tuesday, Memorial of St. Clair, Virgin, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, and whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, Will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, Amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. The Gospel of the Lord unless you turn and become like children. The apostles are anxious about status and rank, resulting in infighting among them, each emphasizing his advantage over the other. Jesus warns them that unless they become like children, they cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. To turn implies a change of mentality and behavior, unlearning the dog-eat-dog -dog culture, so as to acquire the mind and heart of Jesus. We need to admit before the Good Shepherd that we are the lost sheep waiting to be rescued and in need of redemption. Jesus will teach us to turn from our proud ways and put in Him our absolute trust and confidence. The change we hope to see in ourselves can come only from Jesus. He teaches us to receive children in our midst and protect them from scandal. If we regard them with the respect and reverence by which Jesus relates with us, we can love and care for the nobodies of this world and discover their true dignity as our brothers and sisters with the love by which Jesus continues to embrace us. Are there traces of pride and arrogance lurking in my person?